Our 2012 CES coverage is powered by Ford. What's up, everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, taking a look at one of the hottest cars coming in 2012. This is the Tesla built Model S. We are here with Camille, who's going to give us a tour of the incredible technology in this car, highlighted by this just gargantuan 17 inch uh, display here in the Tesla Model S. Hi, my name's Camille Ricketts, and I'm the communications manager at Tesla Motors. I'm here to show off the 17 inch touchscreen in the Model S. Uh, we are really staking our claim with the digital dashboard that's it leading the industry in a lot of ways. Uh, so here we have everything baked into one interface. We have your media selection which has a lot of options built into it. Obviously your AM, FM radio, internet radio, and you can also connect your devices. So this is so, an internet, internet connected car? It is, absolutely. It runs on 3G and there's hot spots in the side mirrors uh, so that you'll be able to be connected to anything that you could possibly want to access. Uh, in addition to the the media center um, and I'll just show you you can expand any of these windows if you want and you can also swap which one is on top and which one is on the bottom um, we also have navigation um, shows maps satellite maps there will be turn by turn driving directions and is this Google Maps uh, I don't think that we're disclosing what we're using at this time okay. you can see how energy is being used by the car a lot of people are interested in because that because this is of course a pure electric 100 electric, electric, electric car. not a drop of gas so you can see the battery pack will actually show you how energy is flowing throughout the car how much uh, energy is being put out by the motor at any given time and how much is being regenerated by the brakes and from a uh, mileage standpoint I believe it can get in three different battery configurations 160 220 and 300 so it's 230 and 230. 200. Not bad though for memory, right? No, that's really good. I'm impressed. Uh, in addition to that, we have the web. Uh, so you'll be able to access that. You can have your passenger here look up where the nearest movie theater is, for example, if you're on the go. So you actually just drag it. And is there a pinch to zoom functionality on here? Uh, there is not at this time. And uh, what kind of touchscreen is this relying on? Uh, we actually custom built the hardware. Uh, we are here in the NVIDIA booth because we use the Tegra processor in both the instrument cluster and the 17-inch touchscreen. And is it, uh, is it a capacitive touchscreen that you guys are using? You know, I don't know the answer know. off the top of my head. Not a problem. Is it possible to see what the keyboard looked like, how you would input a, uh, a web address on here? So we'll go right there. It looks and like got that. It's pretty you standard, have your uh, dot com. standard keyboard option. Exactly. Okay. Uh, we will have backup camera, so That's you can fun. parallel park with ease and then also hands-free calling. We will have an app library right now that's not really built out, and we're not talking too much about how we're approaching it, but and we're this excited about this car's expected potential. to start deliveries? Midway through this year. So just a few months away? Yes. And then on the front here, the digital instrument cluster, this is all just one big display that can be customized to show a variety of different uh, so it's not highly customizable right now. We don't know what we're going to do in the future. There's a lot of options, obviously, uh, but we do show the speedometer, uh, your media selection at the time, and then watt hours per mile uh, so that you can get a really good sense of everything going on with the car. Of course, how many miles you have left to go as well, which is very important for electric cars. Excellent. And different from your uh, current model of Tesla, this guy is actually a four-door five-seater. Actually, in the back in the hatch, they have two <laughs> additional seats uh, there as well. It looks like we've got a uh, panoramic uh, sunroof here as well yep. on it's this. It's actually one of the most spacious cars ever made. It, there's plenty of, uh, of room here and doesn't require a drop of gas uh, to, to run this guy. Uh, well, Camille, thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. With Sync Services, you can use the power of your voice to stay in control of your Mustang driving experience. Want to catch up on your favorite NBA team, other top news, or get your stock quotes? Sync Services can make it happen. Microsoft, up like 4, 4, 226. All while you keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.